Yo, 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 and welcome back to TSF Entertainment. And we are back again to bring you some more exclusive content for season three, Raising Canaan. This time, we are bringing you exclusive picks and predictions for episode four of Raising Canaan. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. First up here, we have Detective Howard along with Detective Augman. Um, if you don't remember him, he was introduced in episode two when the captain brought Howard into the office. And we found out that Detective Augman works for the Organized Crime Task Force. And we also saw in that scene Detective Howard offer his services where Detective Augman said more than likely we'll take you up on that offer. And I think that's what's happening here is that he took him up on his offer to bring him into the task force. Um, I'm thinking here, this is where Howard finds out that the task force is investigating Rock along with Stefano and everybody else in the organized crime. Um, They got the pictures, they got the evidence, and they're probably also going to maybe possibly bring Howard into the task force for him to go undercover again and that's probably where we're going to see Howard start to bury or suppress evidence um, so that his secret does not get out about Kanan being his son here in this scene we have Rock standing outside of a school which we can tell from the school buses behind her Um, I'm thinking one of two things uh one she's possibly watching kanan go into school or two as we saw in the trailer how it tells her that the feds are really on her and they are looking into her and as we saw in the last episode where she left kanan's apartment she saw a mysterious van parked outside so i'm thinking here maybe that's what's catching that's what's catching her eye that she see either a mysterious car um, a mysterious person or some or she actually see that the feds are taking pictures of her we all see from the trailer where Kane gets arrested trying to enter school but we don't know what he got arrested for I'm going to assume that he had possibly a gun or some type of weapon in his book bag as he was going through a metal detector um, before he got arrested and the metal detector went off and as we see here the cop is going through the book bag and I'm going to assume this is where he finds the weapon and maybe possibly some work or a uh, stack of cash here we have Rock and Kanan which looks like they are in the principal's office of the school um, it's safe to assume Kanan gets more than likely expelled from school just from their facial expressions that Rock and Kanan have. I'm going to more than likely assume that Kanan gets expelled from school from whatever was in his book bag. It could be quite possibly he gets suspended, but I'm leaning more towards he gets expelled. Here we have it. Finally, we are finally getting an episode to introduce us into the new character, Snaps and Pop. Um, here we have Snaps and Pop meeting with Ronnie. Um, I'm going to assume that Ronnie is coming to them to get back in the game. Um, he feels Unique is taking too long and he wants work. He wants to get back in the game. So he meets with Snaps and Pop. Um, We could also possibly see maybe this is where Snaps and Pop possibly turn him down due to his name in the streets, as well as he just got out of prison. Um, But it's not too much to go off of from this scene here, but we do see that he's having a meeting with them and we get introduced to those new characters. Here we have Marv at the Village Voice. Um, As we all know from the last episode, this is where Gerald works and he's stopping by to check on Gerald. I'm sure he's probably going to wonder what has happened to Gerald. Um, Why was he high? If he even remember, 
um, everything that happened or whatnot, or Marv is possibly trying to help Gerald get off of drugs. And this is probably where they discuss um, the unaliving of their um, their mediator um, from their anger management um, course that they had to take. Here we have Kanan uh, back at Famous Crib counting a wad of cash, which probably means that they've probably about to re-up or they just had some cash drop back off where we see Paul comes to their apartment from the looks of Kanan from the looks of Kanan's face it looks like Famous has done something wrong um, as well as this, the look on Paul's face is like hey you know what happened or what's going on maybe this is from the this is the after um, if you've seen the trailer where there's a police officer chasing a courier on a scooter Maybe this is the after effects and Paul is saying that like, hey, you know, you got one of my carriers popped trying to run your product through my carrier service. Um, we have famous here, you know, looking confused, upset. Um, he's still taking orders um, as he has the beeper and he is on the phone. So I'm sure in that scene there here, we have that Kanan and famous are going to get into a. Uh, I don't want to say an altercation, maybe just more of a verbal altercation of what's going on um, with the courier service and whatnot. Here we have Rock again back at Famous's crib, giving Famous more money. As we all know, Famous doesn't want the life. Um, I think here Rock is possibly bribing Famous to give her information on what they have going on, what Kana has going on with the courier service moving to work and all of that um and she probably probably tells him you know i will keep paying you if you keep feeding me information now the question is is famous going to take the money or is he going to listen to canaan and turn down the money from rock here we have marv and lou at the bar um not too much to go off here think here they're more than likely probably discussing of as to buy the bar outright so that Luke can run it um, you know get the talent and everything coming through there to perform for the bar like I said it's not too much to go off of on this scene right here but I'm leaning more towards the discussing buying the bar here we have Marv uh, scene with Marv not too much to go off here I believe this is his house um he possibly could be talking to Juke and telling Juke um you know to keep keep going for your dreams um keep doing that music um possibly where he tells her you know she she got selected to be in a girl group again it's not too much to go off on this scene right here here we have Kanan, which looks like after the situation, he is now back at home at Rock's house. Um, as we can see his facial expression, he's not too happy about it. He's very upset. Um, I'm sure now Rock has probably got him on lockdown inside of the house and it's not allowing him to leave whatsoever since his, which I feel he got expelled from school. Here we have a scene with Ronnie and Dean. And as we know from the trailer, they have an altercation. I'm assuming here that Ronnie went to Dean to get some work, to get himself back, back in the game. And pretty much Dean turns him down, lets him know I'm not working with y'all. And that's what it is. And as we saw from the trailer, with some threats made back and forth, where Dean told Ronnie he will bury him. And this is where Ronnie, as we all know, is unhinged and jacks Dean up. So, and that's it. So, please make sure to like, subscribe, as well as drop your predictions down in the comments and let us know what you think 
from those pictures that you just saw. Thank you.